Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Critically low water levels in this here, the Panama Canal. And I want to show you the forecast for this a couple months out and how it's tied to El Nino. But this here, the Panama Canal itself, is a complex uh, system. Now, this here, the Panama Canal, is not your just typical, just kind of quick moving uh, canal. There's locks in this, there's compartments. I'll get to that in a moment, but let me set the stage here. Here's the Caribbean side, Gulf of Panama, Pacific side here. Here's Panama Canal cutting right through here. Here's Costa Rica over here. Now, about 12 to 15,000 ships get through it a year. That's about 35 a day when things are going good. But with the lower water levels right now, we're down to about 22. 22 ships a day. So that's causing some issues that raises the cost of goods, takes things longer to get there. That is putting a delay, about three to six uh, days now of a delay on what we would typically see with some of the uh, goods. Now this here, I mentioned a complex system. This is the Atlantic side, so the Caribbean through here. Uh, Gatun Lake, this is right through here. Here's a lake, and with it, along this, you have different levels. You have different terrain. The terrain rises and lowers, plus on different sides, things are, things are different around the Globe. The Pacific is actually a little bit higher than the Atlantic. So uh, for this very complex uh, canal to work, there are these locks that are built in or these compartments. So if you're coming from the Atlantic side in the Caribbean, you come in, they raise the water level so you could get to the next area, raise it again, you get to another lock and they raise it again. There's 12 locks in this system. Here's Gatun Lake, but the water in Gatun Lake is the critical thing. That kind of feeds everything, water pressure, available water. Gatun Lake is very low at this point or lower than typical and it's only going to get lower. Now these compartments take about eight to 10 minutes to uh, fill. Uh, so not too long. And overall, to get through this whole thing, to get through the canal, whatever side you're coming from, takes roughly about eight to uh, 10 hours. But there are these delays now because there's not as much water. The water levels are lower. It is uh, backing things up less ships a day. And it takes longer to get the goods around the world. And you see, again, so much of the world depends on what goes on in the Panama Canal. Here's the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico, Atlantic, and the Pacific. Now, uh, what, what's happening is here, this is what's happening. Here's the forecast. Now, this is basically right now, uh, uh, Gatun Lake's at about 80 feet. We've been at a, about 80 feet coming out of the wet season. November, we are near 80 to 81 feet, but that's not good. Coming out of the wet season, we'd like to be around 86 to 88 feet. So the wet season was not as wet, and that was because we were in an El Nino period, and that means we're typically not as wet. That is what we are still in. So the forecast holds as we go out in time into April, it is going to drop even further, could be down to about 80, less than 80 feet. So again, a little bit above it right now, less than 80 feet. So the trend goes down in just a little bit makes a big difference, which means the 22 ships a day may be reduced even further. Now, La Nina is coming. That usually means wetter than average weather, but La Nina is not, it's not a given. It's a given that it's going to happen, but it doesn't mean we're necessarily going to get a ton of rain around. It's going to be a wait and see because every La Nina is a little bit different. All right, now, so I'm going to keep an eye on the water levels. Again, critically low water levels in the Panama. I'll be watching uh, any available rain, especially as we get into the hurricane season. I will monitor all of that for you, but this is something I'll stay on top of for you now. Now we have this uh, front that's working by over toward Jamaica, Bermuda, everything to the north of Panama, which is kind of typical for this time of year since we're in the dry season. Another big system rolling into California. Some of us, as we get closer to the uh, Caribbean, in Jamaica, we woke up to some rain in some spots, so forecast on track. Big system rolling into California, more in the way of flooding and mudslides out there. They are on alert there. Here's our front that's working by Bermuda with some heavier rain at times, stretching back toward the southern Bahamas near Jamaica, all the way down near uh, Nicaragua and Costa Rica. And you see Panama, just a few showers around. This will spin up. I'll get into uh, uh, Canada in just a moment. This is tomorrow, and I'm going to zoom down here. We'll see the chance of rain tomorrow are increasing over toward Puerto Rico. See the tail end of the front here. Now the system pulling on shore in California is not a huge player. It's actually going to weaken some, bring some snow of course to the uh, Rocky Mountains. Then by Thursday, there's that system going up toward Canada. Another front taking shape in the eastern U.S., but this one is not as big of a front. So I don't expect it to dive down as much. You see by Friday, could see a couple showers of Bahamas, Florida, but this one is not as big as the front that we have going by right now. Plus, look at here, 
another spin about to roll into California, which I will monitor and we'll see how that plays into our weather. But in the short term, this is today. You see that chance of showers right through here, southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, Haiti. We could get a couple showers. Eastern Cuba, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, not as much. We had some rain and some gloomy conditions at times yesterday. And then you see here a couple showers near Costa Rica. Here's Panama by the canal. No substantial rain expected. Could see a couple spotty showers. Then by tomorrow, again, northeastern Caribbean, seeing a better chance of showers. Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, U.S. and British Virgin Islands over toward Anguilla, Antigua, and Barbuda, Saba. The rain chance will go up. And you see by Thursday, still a chance of a couple showers in the eastern Caribbean. Unfortunately, southeastern Caribbean, where we need to get some rain, not a whole lot this time of year, which is rather typical. So as additional rain totals go over the next few days through the Virgin Islands, back through the Turks and Caicos. If you do get rain, 25 millimeters to about an inch of rain will be possible. Rain uh, totals not super high, but we have gotten that little cool down. A lot of you are talking about that in the comments. Wind shooting down out of the north behind the system, whipping around uh, Bermuda. That's where the storm system is. So a little northerly flow, some choppy seas. Gulf, though, has not been as choppy. Seas have been uh, subsiding. Still that northerly flow by the time we get into tomorrow, even trying to creep uh, back down toward Puerto Rico. So the night's not as uh, mild. They'll be a little bit cooler as we work our way into tomorrow and tomorrow night with that northerly breeze. And then eventually, as that system continues to work away, continues to pull offshore, you see as this next weaker system moves in, as we get into a Thursday across the Gulf of Mexico, more of that southerly breeze that will be with us. But still here, even on Thursday, as we get back through Puerto Rico, we'll see more of that northerly breeze that will still be with us. So again, winds kind of shifting around and I'll keep an eye on that for you. Now here's a look at the system. I mentioned the one in Bermuda, the one that is bringing some rain to parts of the Caribbean. This is going to all lift up toward the Atlantic region of Canada. Here's New England to get into the United States over toward Massachusetts, Cape Cod here, Nova Scotia, watching Prince Edward Island, uh, Newfoundland. We're going to be on the edge of rain and snow. You see, this is by the time we get into tomorrow night, the system will be approaching. And then tomorrow night, into Thursday, it starts to work in. We could get clipped by this over toward uh, Halifax, most of the action offshore, but it's gonna be a close call if we could sneak in some snow, but seeing some snow potentially changing over to some rain uh, later on Thursday. And then as we get into Thursday night, some rain and snow right on the edge of it over towards St. John's. This is through Friday morning, and then the system will start to depart. So Jamaica today, our rain chance is higher. Again, we've already had some rain in spots, about a 40 to 50% chance. It is going down to the Cayman Islands, as all the action is pulling away. Rain chance holding at 20%. Trinidad and Tobago, we need to get some rain. Barbados could see a passing shower. About a 30% chance of a spotty shower in St. Lucia today. Upwards of about a 40% chance in Grenada. With that easterly breeze, we may catch a couple showers. Same thing, St. Vincent of the Grenadines. Rain chance the next three days in Martinique, a 20 to 30% chance. Mainly dry today in Dominica. Rain chance only 10%. 30% chance of a quick shower in Guadeloupe. Up to a 40% chance to tomorrow in Antigua and Barbuda. So not a washout, but the rain chance will be a little bit higher. Wednesday and Thursday, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat. Rain chance bumps up with that front nearby. Same thing, Anguilla and St. Bart's. Rain chance up to 40% on Thursday. St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. Not a complete washout, but St. Martin, we could get a couple showers. Puerto Rico tomorrow, the rain chance about 50 to 60%. U.S. and British Virgin Islands tomorrow, that front moving by, about a 50% chance of some scattered showers. Dominican Republic tomorrow, Tomorrow, a 60% chance. Next couple days in Haiti would be isolated stuff, a 30% chance. Bahamas, it's really the southern Bahamas back into the Turks and Caicos where the rain chance is higher today as that front passes by. Cuba, extreme eastern Cuba, the chance of rain. Otherwise, we're dry. Belize, rain chance very limited. Yucatan and Mexico, that front moved by. So rain chance very limited. Same thing in Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, a 10 to 20% chance over the next three days. But as we work our way into Bermuda, of course, that system Moving by right now, rain chance super high. Costa Rica, some spotty showers. Keep it an eye on Costa Rica and Panama, which I was highlighting Panama at the beginning of this video. Guyana, 20 to 30% chance. Suriname, not a lot. Rain chance, 10%. And even Venezuela, we're looking at a 10, maybe 20% chance of a shower. So keep an eye on the critically low water levels in the Panama Canal, which should get a little bit lower as we go over the next uh, month or so. That front sliding by in our northern zones where the rain chance is higher, still mainly dry to the south, and I will monitor the earthquake. So plenty to cover. Thank you for being part of this channel. Have a great rest of your day.